you said something that kind of brought a new perspective. So when you said not able to control your emotions, I immediately went to, I get angry and I don't, you know, I get angry and I blow up or mm -hmm. I repress my emotions. I suppress my emotions because I don't know how to express myself. But then you said not controlling your emotions could lead to cheating. Mm -hmm. That was a light bulb because I didn't connect the dots mm -hmm. that some men might express their emotions by punching the wall. Some men might express their emotions or not be able to control their emotions and they go out and cheat. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Does that look like my girl made me mad today? So the way that I'm going to express my, you know, discontent with my girl, I'm going to go cheat on her. What does, how does infidelity stem from lack of control of your emotions? I mean, it's many ways. Like, it's not just one, but it can be my girl made me mad, I go cheat. It don't even have to be that. It could be I'm a man, I think I should have my way and I want multiple women. But is that controlling or is that making a conscious decision? It's both though. I think two can be true, right? I think they both can coexist. I think if you get in a monogamous relationship, right? We know monogamy means one, mm -hmm. right? So if you're in a monogamous relationship, you got to be able to control the urges, right? And I'm pretty sure it's Bible verses out here. I don't know the exact terminology, I'll but- I'll be knowing them either, don't yeah. worry. But yeah, so like if you're in a monogamous relationship, right? Things are going to come, like things are like temptations are going to come. Just because you're in a monogamous relationship, just because you're married, don't mean that problems aren't going to come. Mm -hmm. But you got to fight through those problems. And when you aren't able to control your emotions, it's going to be hard. Like your girl, you could be having a grand time at home. You in the club in the, in, the, in the wrong environment, or just in, in, the, in an environment that you're not used to, and a woman look good, and she come up to you, she talking to you, she might be flirting. You might want to. Oh, yeah, I want that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's controlling emotions. They don't always have to be anger. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be multi it's multiple layers of controlling emotions. But just like being a Christian, like, think about it. Like, it's hard to, I don't know, for the people that go to church on Sundays, whatever, go to church every, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to, to, uh, to be committed to this practice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to, but I look at it like this. I compare like, I can I can compare my podcast. That's what I could do. Bro, it's hard to get up and get an interview every Wednesday and Thursday, right? It's it's hard to post the, the, the audio one time, make sure the video is on time. That's hard, but because I love it, I understand the value in it, so I'm gonna continue to do it because mm -hmm. I can see the, the end. You gotta understand, you gotta, you gotta be able to see the value in everything, right? If you are with a woman, you gotta be able to see the value in, in the relationship with your woman, right? If you are, if you are, Christian or religion, whatever, you gotta see the value of what you believe in. But to that's actually act on it. Exactly. But people don't see the value in it. That's why they they backslide on a lot of things. Is, so one of the the confusing thoughts that women we will just never understand, and I just want you to try to explain it. The scenario that you just explained. We're in the club. I have a woman at home that I love. This is mm -hmm. my boo. I was just on the phone with her. Like nothing is wrong at home. I'm in the club. Mm -hmm. This woman is flirting. She look good, whatever. What is the thought? Not because I know the thought is she looks good. That's the initial thought. But what are you actually thinking like on your way out the club with this woman or up to a hotel room or out to a like there's so many steps that have to happen between this initial just you see this girl to you didn't convince her to come home with you. Like there's so many things that have to happen. What are y'all like thinking because a woman, when that, when that scenario happens, and this has actually happened to me, you know, in college, I'm at home sleep and you didn't went out and cheated. You couldn't have just wanted to have sex because you could have just came home and had sex with me. So it's not that. Mm -hmm. So what is it that keeps you from just going home and having sex with your girl versus taking a stranger home and possibly ruining your relationship? It's everything. It's like, again, it's not just like these conversations are huge, right? Like it's not just one layer. It's multi, it's multi dimensional. So like, it could be, I don't know, let's just go with uh, greed, right? It could be greed. It could be um, just not being content with what you got. It's so many, it could be power. Think about it like this. I think women look at sex like, I don't know, this grand prize, and it should be. It's sacred to yeah, It is, it is, honey, and it should be sacred to men too, as well, right? But we don't, we're not taught that. When we come up, and I'm not trying to make excuses, we coming up where men having multiple women is that's dope. Like that's player. Yeah, like I'm a, dapping you yeah, up. Yeah, like I'm that man. So uh, uh, it's funny because we think that 
Yo, it's, I don't know what's up with the world. It's like we think that we just supposed to be adults and automatically like become adults. Nah, to say if you if you don't learn, right, you gotta make some mistakes throughout. Like if you don't learn the lessons to understand the importance of not doing these things, you're gonna continue to think it's okay. So I say that to say it's like it's immaturity, it's a lot, right? So like we're in a club. I see a good chick. I'm not thinking my brain. I'm thinking my dick. Excuse me. I don't know if you curious, but like, think about it. So like, bro, my dick get hard. I'm honestly want the uh to 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 itch that scratch. You know what I'm trying to scratch that whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my shit off. That's all I'm thinking. And then it's chasing it. My girl already got it. My girl look good. I already got it. Though the chase is done. Like I want to feel like I, I got it. I want to feel like I'm that man. So now I'm talking to you. Now it's an attractive woman And think about it It's ego It's so many things It's like this is not just a One dimensional conversation it's Multiple uh, layers to this Multiple nuances If it's a beautiful woman Think how men Think we got big egos right How many other niggas Are drooling ju 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 over this girl Right There's a lot of niggas Drooling over this girl She want me Boom That's ego right Now I gotta Let her know That I gotta convince her That I'm that man right Again it's just It's greed Like man I can have Multiple niggas Now how the niggas Gonna look at me Now I get her home I have sex and then post nut clarity hidden and I was like shit why I do that you know what I'm saying but that's just that's the same with masturbation it's the same with a lot like it's like that's why controlling emotions that's a big conversation I have you know what I'm saying like it ain't just my girl made me mad I'm gonna go fuck somebody else that could be one of them though but even in that moment you gotta understand I think it's better to just if it's that bad just leave 